Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Night Witches. So we've got um, a couple things we want to do today. So we moved planets to Aruzan here. We're going to have a look at the star map real quick. It wasn't very far of a jump. I think it was like 22 days or something to get here. Or 18 days, I think, from Galator. 22 days, yeah. So we jumped over to here. Now, uh, Federated Suns controls this 83%, Draconis Combine 17, so we're going to attempt to help Draconis Combine out a little bit here while we're here. Um, we do need to pick up some sea bills in order to be able to keep traveling along. So we're going to do that today. Second thing I want to do is show you what we did with the mechs to repair them. So let's go to the bays. So since we're going to do that clan flashpoint, uh, and we're limited to 120 tons, um, maximum 40 ton per mech, we're going to run these three guys for that. Uh, so I brought the fire starter forward and I laid this out as a laser build. I wanted to do it like a kind of a heavy, like close in DPS build. So what I did was, uh, let's have a quick look at the refit here. You can notice we got the CQB, um, cockpit with the plus six accuracy within 50 or, or sorry, 60 meter range. Uh, 50 percent chance to do a critical hit plus three initiative. So what we want to do with this guy, I put on three of the plus five damage medium lasers. So with these guys hit at 30, uh, plus six heat, minus one accuracy, but they've got a plus one for the laser accuracy, plus one for being in the arm, and then plus six for this. So these guys will hit really good. Then we got a couple of accuracy medium lasers on the CT. So we're five medium lasers on this guy. Um, looking at about 140 damage roughly if they all hit. Full armor, got a Guardian ECM, and just enough heat sinking to be able to fire continuously all the time as long as we're close to somebody. We've got some nice speed with a 240 core in here, so we're looking at 813 uh, movement. Uh, I was thinking about putting a mask in, but I think I like it the way it is here. I don't want to lose too much. I didn't include too much in this uh, build. I didn't put a gyro or anything in it. Um, I'm sure we could do that to improve it, but there's not really much more we could add on to this besides, like I said, uh, putting a mask in. But even then, I'd have to take some stuff out to be able to do it, and I would rather not do that. So that's how I kind of laid this guy out. I think it'll be more than enough for that mission if we run three mechs with this guy. And then the Raven had taken some damage, or sorry, the Raptor had taken some damage. We lost one of the medium X pulses and the upper energy hard point on this arm. So um, I pulled out the other um, uh, X pulse out of here and I dropped in a couple of the triple plus SRM sixes. I pulled out one of the clan SRM sixes from this torso, put an SRM two. Uh, these guys all have bonus damage. This is um, um, plus one accuracy with direct fire missiles. So this is going to give a little extra accuracy. Uh, switched out some of the ammo, so we now have LK ammo, dead fire ammo, and acid ammo. So this guy's basically more or less a DPS build. So hit them with acid early and then hammer them with the uh, dead fire missiles on the SRMs using the LK ammo to close. So that's the idea behind this guy. Plus we've got a medium laser as a backup weapon if for whatever reason we run out of ammo. Um, at least we've got that there that we can uh, use as well. And this is relatively heat efficient as well. If we have to turn off the medium laser every once in a while or the SRM2 just to get some heat back, we're pretty good here. So yeah, I'm going to keep my eye open for some upper arm missile uh, points, but um, we don't really have, we have recoil compensators, but that's about it. Um, although I didn't want to add the extra weight. I know these have a recoil of two. I didn't want to add the extra weight because uh, then I had to start taking stuff out and I didn't want to do that. So yeah. That's what this guy's running. And then with the Hunchback, we lost the um, one of the spiked leg boots that we had. Uh, I just took that off um, and put armor on it. So it's got more back armor, more leg armor. I mean, we were only, put, only able to put like seven points on it or something like that. So the legs are maxed now and the center torso uh, has got a little bit more armor. And that's all we did with this guy. So he should still be hitting hard. Um, with the uh, the punches and stuff, we were doing over. We were doing 225 before. We should probably be doing I don't know, maybe around 200 or so. So it should still be good, I think. All right, so let's jump into some contracts here before we get too much farther into this. And we've got a couple here that I want to do. So uh, we've got secure borders and repossession. I think we can easily do with our uh, main lance. And then there's bargaining chip as well. Uh, all three of these. This moves against the Federated Sons. This is against pirates, uh, which is fine. Um, and then repossession is against um, a government leader. So once again, these three will give us um, leverage against um, um, Federated Commonwealth. So we're going to do that. We're going to start off with secure borders first, though. 
I think that's probably going to be good. Uh, and then most likely we'll take Bargaining Chip with a second Lance, and then we'll come back and do Repossession, depending on how quickly these are. I think these should go relatively quick, though. But let's do this. And we're going to max out our Salvage. We do need to make some sea bills. It's only halfway to the end of the month, so we're pretty much okay. Um, let's flush these guys out. And bring in the main lance. So Bushwhacker, Wolverine, um, where are you here? Shadowhawk or Flamehawk and Griffin. And Baba Yaga. And we got uh, Sunflower, um, Red Comet, and Megasaur. And let's get this done. All right. Hmm, chances are we got two lances here most likely, so let's get ourselves up here and claim as much territory as we can before we start. Ooh, what do we got here? Clint, huh? Hmm, let's not waste our time. Now this, I think we can take a bit of a shot with. It's adding a little bit of heat. Let's leave off one ER medium. We'll fire the rest. Of course you are. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Mm-hmm. Waiting for orders. Aye, aye. Um, yeah, it's a little much. Let's leave the large off. Uh... Let's go with this. Copy that. I think if we can fire and not use up any heat on the first turn, that's probably a really good thing. Alright, what are you guys doing? Time to earn our money. Mm-hmm. A little bit of pulse action going on. Yeah. That was an ATM, I think. I'm thinking. Only counted like seven missiles there, or nine missiles. Um. Alright. Ooh. Thunderbolt. Nice. That's some pieces we can use. Don't remember how many Thunderbolts we have, but we got a few anyway. Uh, let's turn some of these guys off. Yeah. Affirmative. Yeah, one hit. That's fine. So, I think we'll take send Megasaur in to finish up that Clint. Flamehawk will go in. We'll roast up the uh, Thunderbolt. I don't know, there's two more guys. One guy back here and one guy up on the hill, I think. Got to figure out what we're up against here. Hear a vehicle moving? Okay, it's a vehicle back here. Shepard. And a mech. What are we looking at here? Commando. Okay, it's the large laser commando, and this is... Ooh, another griffin up there. All right, so um, how tough is a shepherd? Um, yeah. Should we start with this? No, I don't think so. Don't want to over... Let's go this route. We'll fire a couple turns and then we'll use the Warlord. Now, if, um, somebody mentioned that, um, you know, as soon as Warlord's up, you should be using it. Um, because it's, it should be in your, basically, your attack rotation. Um, I agree to a certain point. Uh, but then I also disagree because of the cooling on it. It's not just an attack um, skill. Um, it's also a defensive skill as well. Um, 
Because being able to continuously fire with alpha strikes, I think is is um, more important than to uh, um, you know be able to shoot with a uh, like every time it's up with a heavy hit because it just may not be um, feasible at that moment to. Um, um, like you, if you don't have the best chance to hit Warlord, I mean, only giving you a little extra percentage unless you absolutely need it, right? There's no point in using it. I like, like in situations like this, firing once first rather than using Warlord and then using Warlord again and firing. Um, we'll keep this heat uh, mitigated while we tie this guy up. That's all right. You power up, buddy. You're going to shut down again in a minute anyway. Um, let's not get in the open. So, yeah, I mean, Warlord is one of those skills, I find, anyway, that's like... Wait, we took this guy's right or left torso? A left torso, so we want to be on this side. Um, it's one of those skills, I find, that it just really depends on your play, play style. You could use it all the time. Um, I don't, personally, I don't think it's one of those things that, uh, I don't think we need this on, though. Um, yeah, I don't think it's one of those things that, uh, you have to do a certain way. Ah, not enough. Well, at least we knocked him down. Okay, we're going to switch targets with the uh, Griffin. We're going to go after the vehicle next. Um, yeah, so, I mean, like I said, it's, it's really de depends. For me, it's like an, uh, a situational or off-rotation skill. If you, if you think about using it as a, uh, purely only DPS, then yes, you know, you put it in your DPS rotation and you use it as much as you possibly can. But I don't think of it that way. I find it a completely situational skill. I mean, let's face it, 10%. I know, yeah, it's extra 10% damage. Um, having to wait four turns for cooling back on a desert planet could be problematic, right? So I would wait, for me, I would prefer waiting until I need the heating. Oh, somebody's got a rack. Light damage, Commander. Yeah, that could have been a lot worse. Wolverine DS, Griffin, Crab, and what are you? I have no idea. What was that guy? Urinia. Okay, they got a good lance up there. We got a great opportunity for some good mech parts here. Now, once again, I also I also think um, uh, Ace Pilot is one of those situational skills too. I mean, you could build it into your rotation and use it like every second turn or every turn. Um, but I, it's one of those things that's just, I, I don't know. Um, sometimes you, I would prefer to move more um, than just fire them back up. Like if you have a hill and you can move up and shoot and then shoot and move back, that's the ideal place to use it. Um, or if it's going to give you a better chance to hit by standing and then shooting. Uh, that's great, Commander. but um, where should we come from here? No, I think this is the way to go here. That should be a squash. 186 damage. Copy that. Um, so yeah, Ace Pilot's situational skill. Um, I like the passive skills personally. Like, Master Tactician, I think, is a highly underrated skill. Uh, the plus two resolve gain uh, is great. And the minus 50% critical hits um, can make a really huge difference in pretty much uh, every battle you're in. All right, so let's move. Like this. And do we just kill this guy? I think so. We're going to fire every... Well, how much do you got left in the CT here? Mm. 
let's multi-target then this this then I'm gonna do this and this uh, these will go to B tag will go to B and everything else will go to A I think we should be able to hit with the PPC or the large Engaging. or targets. we could just miss with both that works too <laughs> Why do I open my mouth? Why do I open my mouth? Yeah, Berserker is like another one of those great skills. He's got to cool off. This guy's like super hot. Ah, got me with the tag, eh? That's alright. That's alright. Let's go with you next. I want to get rid of this Clint because it's bugging me here. Hmm. It's a little better. And we're going to dump everything into this guy. Uh, actually, we're not. Let's leave the ER large off, but we'll hit him with everything else. Yeah, there we go. Accuracy through volume of fire. You know, that is one of the things I love about uh, Battletech is there's so many different ways you can play this game. So many different builds, so many, like, it's the variations. It's just amazing. I just love this game. You know, and there's no really one 100% right way to play. We gotta superheat this guy again. So once again, using Warlord on this one, just to keep keep our heat down. Goodbye. All right, now we can start pulling this guy's legs off. Depending on how fast he is, we'll see. Receiving. We're going to move away from that other lance on the hill. I don't want to punch this guy. Uh, let's get the tag. Leave the chaff off for now. Um, yeah, let's go up to that leg. Okay, he's tagged. That's nice. Got to make sure we move here. And yeah, let's go up to the leg. Uh, perfect opportunity here to use Warlord. Not so much for the chance to hit, but the extra damage so we can clearly take the leg off. There we go. Once again, another great situational use. If you know you're going to get a hit, definitely use it. Uh-huh. Who's firing that? The Wolverine's got the rack, which is probably jammed. Um, the Shidne Griffin crab. Maybe it was a crab. I'm here. Uh, you're gonna reserve. I want to keep this other guy, sh this Order. guy, shut down here. Um, let's move around to here. On the move. Full speed. And this is another Warlord shot here. Max damage out on this leg. We're going to drop everything on the Narc. We... Mm, yeah, it's barely any heat. We'll use it anyway, just in case. We'll have better chances to hit next time. Spread it around. How do we do? Well, we spread it around. No, nope, rack is not jammed, and that is a bad thing. Standing by. Confirmed. We're going to kill that commando next turn with Megasaur here. So let's go after this uh, leg, and we're going to leave off the four Inferno. 
And fire. He's not going anywhere. He's got good heat sinking though, I'll give him that. Like he's pulled himself out of the red. Ooh, right over the shoulder, right by the head. I wonder what that would sound like if you were in a cockpit and that PPC came like right by your head. I wonder what that would end up sounding like. Either, even like a rack the, the, uh, or AC-20, the shell whistling by your head. Tag, you're it. Uh, he doesn't want to play anymore. That's not any fun. Fuck, I gotta move. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. Yeah, we don't have any more of those, so we cannot be staying there. Um. Full throttle. And I'm not gonna reserve, I don't wanna waste my time there. Okay, that might have been enough. Nope. Damn it. Enemy Critical damage detected. Receiving. Come on, Sunflower. Finish this guy up for me, please. Then right. they won't be able to see me. What do you got left? Nothing, really. Locked on the there we go. Nice. Target neutralized. Commander? I'm just standing in front of the uh, bushwhacker here. We haven't been hit yet, so I don't think it'll matter because of the height. We can probably they can probably shoot both of us, but they haven't got eyes on yet. So oh, someone's coming way over here. The Wolverine. Oh, they can see us. Probably because of the resi residual uh, sensor locks. Um, I'm showing minor why are they shooting me with an AMS? Oh, that was my AMS shooting. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot I had the AMS on there. <laughs> I'm an idiot. That's probably the, the, uh, Iranian. Yeah, there you are. There you are, you bastard. What do we want to do here? Where can we walk to? So we could walk back here, but that would expose the left arm. Just thinking for fire and maneuver, because we can shoot with it before we move. Really bad chances. Um, how heavily do we want to push these guys? How far can I sprint this way? Hmm. I'm gonna pause it for a second and see what they do. Yeah, they got eyes on now. What's up, boss? All right, there we got everybody now. There's the Wolverine with the rack. That's the crab. Shit chance to hit everybody, it doesn't really matter. Although we should probably fire on this guy. Maybe we can get some chaff on him. I copy. Nice. Yes, Commander. I need you up here. God, I love the speed of these mechs. Just so nice. So we're going to go Infernos on this guy. Uh, we might get a little heat on him. Yeah, five points. Five more points than we would have had. 
So if I can get over here, I might be able to avoid the rack. He still hasn't jammed. I'd like to see what he's got for recoil compensation on this thing. Yeah. Yeah, well. I'm trying to stay cool from when we have better chance to hit. Just getting into position. Ah, fuck you with your tags. So that was the crab. What's got the... Is it the a Chedney Griffin that's got the uh Maybe. Let's move. I apologize for the uh hor horrific um pronunciation. I'm sure I'm butchering the uh, names of these mechs. People are probably grinding their teeth or cringing at this moment. Gonna leave the large off for now so we have a better chance to hit, but we'll fire the rest on this guy. Get a little start on him. Okay. Pingdom. Okay, now if this guy, if Megasaur can get over here, we're going after the Wolverine. I still think that, well, these dual uh, snub noses can be deadly if the closer they get. So maybe we kill him. She can probably take him out in one turn. Depending on where that other mech is up here, though, I don't, I think it's probably be back here. Let's take the let's take the chance. Come on, kill him in one shot. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's too horrific to look at. They're not even gonna show us. Target eliminated. Not even gonna show us. It was so horrific. The carnage, I tell you. There he is. There you are, you bastard. But let's focus on this guy right now. Dump everything into him. Okay, I got a tag on. Interesting. I think I'll stick the Flamehawk on the Wolverine if we can get to him. Don't know if we can though. Oh, geez, he's got some speed, eh? Not the left arm, not the left arm. Don't hit the left arm, don't hit the left arm. We're going to shut this guy down. wonder if his rack is jammed. Yep, that's fine. We're going to go griffin on griffin in a second. I think this crab's probably going to move down the hill. Oh, he didn't even move. I'm receiving you. Copy that, Commander. I'm going to talk to this idiot. Uh, what's up, buddy? Ooh, not enough. Commander. Hmm... Wow, we hit, mostly hit the legs and stuff. The flamers. Wow, that's interesting. Alright, we're just going to fire straight into his back. Uh, we push him? Let's do the push on him because we can. I want to slow him down for next turn. Uh, the rack, I think, is on this side. Wait. Yeah, let's take the left side out. I copy. Ah, we got the... Ah, crap. Well, at least maybe the rack is there.
If that's the melee griffin, he needs to move up. Order. Um. Taking a huge risk doing this, but we're gonna go this route. See if we can one-shot this guy. Nope. Took his whole right torso out, though. Tag, yo, it, motherfucker. Um. Is there no way we can do this and not be seen? He's in our goods. Well, we came back here. We can do it from back here. We put long-range weapons on this guy just for reasons like this. And he's going to fire straight out. Everything on this guy. Almost. I'm here. Moving at full throttle. Now I don't think I put any I put acid ammo, but no normal ammo in this guy. And I don't want to waste Do we? Do we waste Warlord? It's not really a waste. Let's just fire it all though. So let's do that. Okay. Uh huh. I know you don't like me. I know you don't. Now we can see the other Griffin, so. Megasaur going on turn 30. Oh, we can't get all the way over there. Let's pull the other arm out this crab. Probably. I copy. Don't fire at us. Okay, they're not showing us because it's too horrific again. Just look at the sky. Pretend it's pretend it's everything's good. Pretend everything's nice and happy. Why is he just standing there? Wow, that was a lot of misses. A lot of misses. Okay. See if you can burn that leg off. Well, we shut him down. Yeah, man. Just go home, buddy. You know you don't want to fight us anymore. Okay, get over here to block the attack from behind. Fire some narc. Yeah, man. We can't shoot him? Why can't we shoot him? Standing by. Oof. What is up, buddy? What is up? Roger. Really sucks to be you. Um... I think we're going to go for mech parts on this one. Got the opportunity. Let's not go into the trees. Let's just go up here. Copy that. Maybe he decides to bail out. Looks like we got a few leg hits already. Take the chaff on him. Waiting for order. Sunflower, let's get up over here. Oop, not there. Uh, right here. Oh, you're up in the rock too, nice. 
Yeah, we're gonna go with everything and fire. Okay, there's the leg. And let's see if we can claim the other leg. Don't need to move for this one, I don't think. Fire on this leg, and let's go. Crap. I think we groin shot at him, didn't we? Ah, I can't tell. Let's move up here. All you can do is stand up, buddy. Sorry, but your game is over for today. Yes, Commander. Let's push him back. Oof, not enough. Waiting for orders. That's a back shot. Let's get the side shot on him. Acknowledged. Copy that, Commander. There we go. Burned him out. That's a kill. It is. Mission successful. Alright, so 161,000. It's going to cost us a little bit to repair, but not much. I mean, we didn't really take that much damage at all. Um, we managed to take care of the Thunderbolt before it became a threat. So I'm thinking Thunderbolt. That's what I'm thinking. I think it's pretty obvious, I think, at this point that it's Thunderbolt. Uh, I don't know. We're desperate for a heavy. Going to go with four. Uh, like, once again, I, I was planning on just doing two, but we need to really push ourselves up into the heavy area, so I'm going to take four. Um, got another blue shield particle field dampener, eh? Well, XL engine. Nope, I think we go this route. Let's just do it. So we got a crab part. Ooh, two, three of those griffin parts. Ernia part. One, two, three, four, five Thunderbolt parts. I think we do have other Thunderbolt parts already. Two patchwork materials. That's awesome. So we did really well on this one. Okay. 52,000. That's that's no problem. 12 days. It'd probably be less than that, but we'll see. Uh, if we can get... That was a little bit of a long... Oh, yeah. Seven days for the Bushwhacker. Huh. A little bit of a long mission. So let's do this. Let's get our main lance back and we'll take the second Kurita mission. What did we do here? In terms of... So we're at 44%. So let's take another Kurita mission here. Uh, so we'll take our main lance and then we'll end the episode. And when we come back next time we'll pull off maybe one with the, the smaller lance and then move on to a new planet. Um... I may I might do that off camera or two just because it's going to be a simple mission. I want to try and get more challenging missions while we're on camera. So let's just get ourselves fixed up here. There we go. And let's jump back into another mission. Let's take let's go after those vehicles. Yeah, we're getting back in the good books again, which is excellent. Let's take these vehicles, negotiate, and go full salvage. Uh, and accept. Hopefully we make a few sea bills off this one as well, but I don't know, probably not. Uh, let's deploy and get the sucker done. Ah, oh, good. Okay, I hate this desert, but looks like the vehicles will be up close, and the mechs from behind will be back here. Um, so we got there's a vehicle here, probably one over here, um, one back here, one over here, I think. Uh, there's a I know there's one here for sure. So they're heavy vehicles. We don't want to mess around with these guys. Um, we're going to be faster for sure. So let's try... We gotta utilize the train as best as possible. Um, Got it. Still nothing detected. I'm here. Quick Flying vehicles not going to be as much use. 
What I probably should do um, on the flame. Oh, there's the vehicle there. On the flame hawk, I probably should um, increase the melee damage slightly just so that it, when it's not um, able to use its flamers, we can get some uh, melee damage going. Wow. Come on, hit the vehicle, guys. Goblin. And, um, don't have melee range yet. Let's reserve. SRM carrier mark two. That guy's got to die hard. Uh, we got good chances to hit. And we can bust this guy's front wide open and kill him looks like enemy unit destroyed heads up commander you've got hostile contacts inbound Darius we always have hostile compact contacts inbound i don't know why you feel the need to tell us this god i'm going to reserve Roger that standing boy there's another vehicle Okay. Fulcrum. Okay, Sunflower, I need eyes on that missile carrier. Please and thank you. Barely any armor. Uh, do we shoot it or we let Megasaur go to town on it? A comet still too, so we're gonna shoot this guy instead. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, Commander. Uh, I'm gonna reserve her. Waiting for orders. Uh, we don't quite have enough. Damn close though. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Well, you got enough. Just in case. Okay, good. Reporting. Enemy vehicle removed. Do we walk it up? What's this is the ball rod, right? And this is fulcrum. They don't seem to be that heavy. Not gonna sprint it. Save a bit of heat that way. Um, better chance on this guy, so we'll take it. Vehicle flamers and an ultra five. Seems like a weird combo. Like I guess you use the ultra five for distance and then burn them up a, up close, but it totally seems like a weird kind of late lo uh, loadout there. All right, we got started on him. Who are you? With the PPC. Griffin. Heavy wheeled APC. It's not really back up, is it? Receiving you. Um. 90 something damage. That's just. Uh, I can't tell if we're going to bust this guy open that way. I don't think we will, though. I think if we step, we're not going to do much to this guy. Let's just pull back here. Copy that. Shoot this guy. Um, wow. That doesn't really do anything, does it? You are large, I guess. Fire the rest. Well, we don't really have that much competition coming in, so let's just do this. Warlord it. Wow. So glad I could warlord so I could miss so much. Guess we got, at least we got the, uh, the narc on him. Somebody else at the back moving. I hope she's got enough to step on this guy. I don't think she does. Oh, he's moving in. Moving in to get stepped on. I'm 
Now, where has he been damaged? Can't tell. I kind of I know people say you can you can put the uh, detector up here to see where you're hitting, but it's kind of nice to sometimes not know where you've hit. It's kind of a little bit more realistic because if you figure at a distance he'd fire the PPC and it would hit the vehicle, you really don't know if you're hitting the front or the side or where you're hitting. Come on, guys. Not that difficult. Or maybe it is. I don't know. Although I gotta say, uh, using uh, playing War Thunder uh, for so long, like I did, uh, well, not so long, over a year. Um, that game was nice when you were firing to know where you hit, just see what kind of damage was done inside. You have an idea of what the enemy vehicle is uh, is suffering. I don't know whether that's a cheat or not, but because um, as a tank crew member, you'd kind of have an idea of what kind of damage your weapon did if it penetrated the vehicle. I mean, being trained in ordnance, everything, I would I would imagine so. If anybody's a tanker, I don't know if anyone was a tanker, just uh, drop some comments in the comment section down below and what you think about that. Come on, figure out where you're going. There's not much you can really do here. I think we can probably more than light, easily enough squash this bulldog as long as we step on the front. The fulcrum we should be able to take out with the other mechs, I think. Unless it takes off. I mean, it could take off back here. If it was me, that's what I would do. I'd go back this way. Because right now, this guy's a lost vehicle. Oh, didn't even move. Order. Well, barely moved. We know what we need to do. Let's clean this guy up if we can. 99.1% chance to hit. Affirmative. I think I mentioned this story once before. I was playing Civ 4, and there was a uh, mod called Fall From Heaven. And in that mod, um, it was basically a fantasy mod. You had heroes, and they they were like, really, really strong. And most of the time when they were attacking, they had ridiculous like chances to, to win their battles. And I still remember this one time <laughs> playing and uh, attacking with my hero, and I was destroying the enemy with them. It was ridiculous, and then they attack one unit that was so badly damaged. I'm thinking, oh, he's going to die horribly. And uh, I had a 99 point, was it 90, 99? I think it was 99.9 .9 or 99.7 percent chance of victory, and I lost. I I don't I must have sat there for five minutes, just shaking my head, thinking how <laughs> how. But you know, anything could happen. Trip and fall, hit your head. Who knows? Who knows what happened? Whatever it was, I lost. That was a huge loss of my army, too. Huge loss of my army. That's all front damage. Oh, you get to go again. Oh, I guess because... I don't know why. Whatsoever. Squash him up, buddy. Oh, because we reserved so long. The turn before. We'd like to say get your lance to the LZ, but we can't because reasons. Okay, let's see if we can get some narc on this guy. Eh, yeah, a little better. There we go. Let's go, guys. Bring it in. Don't make me chase you. Yeah, if these double mech battles didn't take so long, we would be able to pull off another mission today. I can't let the episode go too long today. I got stuff I got to do. Still got to cut this episode. I got to cut another um, Jade Falcon Freeborn episode. Get them exported. Get them uploading. Dagger. Ooh, I haven't seen one of those in a while. I, th I think we had a fair number of dagger parts. 
I'm not mistaken. Um, why would you do that? I'm there. Let's see how you do. Nice. Wasn't sure if you could kill him. Full throttle. Just gonna shoot this guy. Uh, shoot, sorry, we're gonna shoot at this guy. Oh, okay, so these guys, these are the last two. These are the last two. So we definitely need to get this guy. I think we'll smash up the dagger. Don't think we need dagger parts. Well, no, because there's so many like SRMs and things like that. I should really maximize other mech parts and stuff. Confirmed. Coming for you. We are coming for you. Come on, right there, right here. All right, let's uh, take the acid and turn it to Inferno and burn this guy up. Not much you can do about that, buddy. Yeah, maybe we don't mess around with these guys, I don't know. Okay. Completely unstable. Might be able to knock him over. I think we're just going to smash the dagger and get out of here. Let's strip this griffin. Be nice to have another griffin. Because then we can turn. If this, this is the royal. Is this the royal as well? can't remember if it is or not because if it's not a royal griffin we might be able to just turn that into our melee mech and then use the royal as a laser platform or something come on buddy where are you moving it's not that complicated you're gonna get punched in the face anyway no matter where you go so All right, fair enough, fair enough. Let's see if we can take this leg. And yep. Wow, well, good start anyway, or good continuation that is. Um. Yes, Commander. Oh, barely gonna show me. Hope we can salvage that. God, you're a murderer, kid. You're a murderer. Holding for tactical advantage. Got it. Alright, let's see if we can take this leg this time. Looks like we can. Um There we go. He's going down. Well, I was hoping to heat him up again, but I'm not going to reserve back to turn one. We're going to fire, go up to this leg. Um, yeah. I don't know why he would just be stressed. I don't know. I couldn't imagine lying on the ground and then just being barbecued. Like, no matter how much heat sinking this guy's got, he's like roasting in here. Uh, 
not bad. Let's get on his side. Benefit of having high tactics is you can move right in with your PPC. Let's see if we can blow this leg off. Yep, there we go. Give me them juicy griffin parts. There it is, folks. Okay, increased by 30%, so not bad, 199,000. Took a tiny bit of damage, but not much. Pretty sure we got no component damage, I'm not even bother. Um, wow, we got like six of eight dagger pieces, really? Yeah, it is the Royal Griffin. Um, all, the, all those SRM6s are nice, but we've got those already. Sheath Beacon. Gonna take the XL engine. We do need some C bills, so I will take that. Um, lots of nice stuff down here, but we're gonna go this route, I think. See what we get. Okay, we got an extra Griffin piece, which is really nice. MML7, which is kind of nice. I'm thinking about starting loading MMLs in and get some LRM and SRM ammo. Like you maybe using the SRM Deadfire and the LRM LK ammo. So we can hit a good distance. And then once it gets close, just switch over to the SRM Deadfire and hammer people with it. Um, so that's a possibility for a build. SRM LK ammo, yeah. We, except for the extra Griffin part in the MML, we kind of got ripped off on this one. Alright, um, yeah, 11,000, so not bad at all. Alright, um, little bit of time before the end of the month. Let's just really quickly go into the store and sell that XL engine before I forget. Just so that we do know, um, we've got enough money for the end of the month. I think we have an extra one. Yeah, we do. We're going to hang on to one, though. Sell the other one. Um, so we have enough money and then let's you know what let's take one more contract today bargaining chip is a two skull yes yeah, negotiation between the federated sign that's a capture base well you know what let's jump real quick then I want to go to a four skull planet I'm thinking we start we have to start taking four skulls missions. So we flipped this planet to Karita, which is good. So we've done some good stuff. Yeah! Feel confident about ourselves now. Let's try and find something for Skull within a relatively good jump radius here. That's Gandhi's luck. Is Well, that's we could have a chance to flip that one, too. Anything good here? Mega City. Large population. Inner Sphere. Hallucinatory Vegetation, which is always a win. Black Market, Comstar. Okay, let's head there. See you when we get there. Looks like we've arrived, Commander. Alright, so we're at Gandhi's Luck now. Let's have a look at the store, just in case. Cataphract parts, nice. Lost parts. I also want to have a look, just to see how many Thunderbolt parts we had. Exchangers, eh, virtual reality pod. We can, we're can. we starting to find some good stuff in the stores now. SRM dead fire ammo, we don't have any right now, so let's buy one just so we have some sticking around just in case we need it. Uh, okay, so contracts, see if we can pull off something that's a little tougher right now. Mm, yeah, maybe, lost contract. Recovery in the polar region? I think that's three and a half, 521. That's probably a good, just to see what we can do mission. Um, quick look at our main mech warriors and then we'll go and take that mission, I think. Unless there's something else there. Uh, Megasaur, we're good. Red Comet, I think we're good, yeah. And Sunflower, we are good. All right, so let's have a look then. Gotta make some sea bills. Intelligence agents, another one. Recovery in the tundra. Lost contact, I think, is probably a better one. Hmm. 
Hmm. The avian force recover the card and holding it in a nearby facility. We need to raid the facility and recover the item. Um, and this one is... Yeah, a lot of recovery missions. Turn the tables is a destroyed base. This would be nice, but unfortunately, five skull. Uh, let's do this. Five twenty-one. Um, sure, why not? I'm just worried that if the base has got turrets, that we're not going to get good salvage out of this. But let's just go this route. Let's just see. 521 is always a good payout. Let's do this. Okay. Yeah, we're not bailing out. We're clearing this place. Alright. Uh, I want you in close as fast as you can, so I'm going to get you to close this way. And we're going to get this guy, Baba Yaga, up here. Sniper position, Red Comet, going into battle. I'm thinking about swapping out these SRM Flamers, or the uh, Infernos. Waiting for orders. Some melee items would be nice, but we got to get them first. Uh, okay. You cannot go first. Holding for the right opportunity. Let's just close. Oh shit, really? What do we got? Saracen? Or Brutus? 75? And I have no idea. Um. It's our chances to hit here. 85, 85. Well, this is the time that you want to use Warlord because you want to see if we can knock it out as fast as possible. So let's fire at this guy. Not liking the dead fire ammo. Oh, got him. Nice. Let's see if you can get some eyes on. Probably not. Stay in the trees though. Okay, what else do we got here? Fulcrum. Pegasus. God, they better have reinforcements. Huh. Alright. Standing by. Really hoping we get her vehicle in sight. Although I think she's probably too far away. Um, acid? Let's go double acid. We're not going to overheat this guy. Yeah, figures. It's the other side that's damaged too. Come on guys, what are you doing? They've got a lock on me. They do. Receiving you. Ooh, don't quite have enough speed. Confirmed. Let's see if we can get a kill on this guy. Fire it all. Copy that. Nope. We, yeah, we tried. Maybe he'll try and run. Maybe. Nah, he's firing everything. He's firing it all. That's a heavy side hit. 
Spartan, serious armor loss. Ooh. Two LRM destroyed, really. Ah, it did say both were destroyed. Attack from the front. See if we can squash this guy. Not gonna show me. It's too brutal. Dead bodies everywhere. Don't worry though, I can handle it. I don't know why it says I can't handle it. Ah, let's see what we can do on this guy. Oh, a whole lot of nothing. Um. Standing by. Ten four. Let's make sure this guy dies. All right. Crawler destroyed. Order. We're not gonna hit, but we're gonna try. Maybe we get him to run. Round three. Come on. Reinforcements. Where are they? This is three and a half skulls. Gotta be reinforcements. There better be. This is like 521 salvage. Get a front, but we'll take the side attack. Easy enough. This is going to be it, isn't it? Reporting. Damn it. Mission successful. That was a ripoff. Well, at least the Koreans get some rep on the planet. Or his influence, you know what I mean. My god, really? We don't have very many cores, so I'm going to take those. Got lots of ECM, though. LRM, LK, ammo, SRM, dead fire. Already got one of these. Don't have any LRM, LK. But you know what? We're, we're using stuff in close. Let's just take the SRM Deadfire just so we have it. I don't have to buy any. Let's go with this and see what we get. Alright, three larges. LRMs. SRMs. Tag. Uh, IC engine. Oh, LK ammo. Okay, so not... Well, out of what was there, it was not too bad. Alright, um... 29,000. So it's pretty much what we made anyway. We made like 33, I think. So no big deal. All right, let's have a look quickly at the uh, star map before we go. Just to see. Do we flip it? Not quite. Ah, 36, really? It's not where it kind of started at. Somewhere around there. Anyway, no big deal. All right, guys. So we're going to leave the episode there. Um, if you'd like to drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. I might actually turn up the difficulty one more setting um, between episodes, just so it's a little tougher. I want to start finding more and more heavy mechs, short of taking four and five skulls, where I have no idea what we're going to be up against. Uh, I think turning the difficulty up is probably a better bet, just to get uh, heavier lances down in lower skull areas. Um, but yeah, so uh, let me know what you think. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. All right, until next time, we'll see you all later.